Hello everybody and this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. Today we are making the double-sided rosebud dish scrubbers and this is a cute little pattern that has uh, a design in the center that looks like little rosebuds. Uh, it is a double-sided scrubber with two options. Um, the front we use the Premier Cotton Yarn. I use a size I hook and I this one I chose the Premier Washi yarn that's the textured um, dishcloth yarn they just came out with so you have the option to do that and then the other option is you can keep it smooth on both sides and use the cotton yarn on the front and use the cotton yarn on the back as well now the third option um, it's not a dish scrubber but I thought the pattern was so cute that this is just the front of the dish scrubber. I put the edging on it, but I, I didn't put any back on it. And these are wonderful as coasters for the craft shows. They're eye popping and it just, it's when people are walking down through the aisles of a craft show, you need something that gives them a pop of color, something that draws their attention to your stand. So like I said, put these in a set of four or six for, for coasters and then you can also offer them as the dish scrubbers. So let's get started. I have my loop on my hook. We're going to begin with the chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to bring our hook around and put it in that first chain to form a ring. Then I usually grab my little piece of leftover thread and I work my stitches right over it. We're going to chain three for the first double crochet and then you're going to work 15 double crochet inside that ring. So there's one. To make a double crochet, yarn over, put your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. So go ahead and make the rest of your double crochet and we'll meet up and you should have a total of 16 double crochet including your chain three. I'm at the end of round one. So I'm going to join in the top of my beginning chain three. I'm going to pull that through and I'm going to fasten off. Now you can choose to change colors in the method of pulling the new color through before you pull the last loop through, but I'm a knot tire so I always fasten off and tie my knots. Okay, to begin round two, you can join your color in any of the double crochet which I usually skip this one because it's a little hard to get in that stitch so I'm going to join my color in the very next one we're going to start with a chain three which is the first two chain is my half double crochet my third chain will be the chain one and then I'm going to do another half double crochet in that same beginning stitch and this creates a small half double crochet V stitch which forms the leaves. We're going to skip the next double crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet yarn over hook in through the stitch and I work right over my ends. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on hook. You're going to I'm sorry, you're going to chain one and you're going to do another half double crochet in that same stitch. So you're going to continue this pattern around. You're going to skip the next double crochet. You're going to work a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch and continue that around. I'm at the end of round two. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch in that chain two space of the beginning chain three. I'm going to fasten off my work and I'm going to start with the color you're going to use for your flower. Now I chose dark pink for this one so I'm going to insert my hook into that and you can start in any chain one space. 
So we're going to start with a three half double crochet cluster. So you're going to work three half double crochet. So you're going to pull your yarn up. You're going to chain one with that slip stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook in that chain one space, yarn over, bring it through your stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook in that same chain one space, yarn over, pull it through. Now you have five loops on your hook and you're going to do it one more time for the third half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook in that same chain one space, yarn over, pull it through. Now you have seven loops on your hook. You're going to take your yarn over and pull it through all seven loops on your hook and that forms your first flower rosebud. Now I'm saying three half double crochet cluster. It's only in my instructions I say half double crochet cluster but it's a total of three half double crochet. So our first cluster is made so now you're going to chain four and you're going to repeat this. You're going to do another half double crochet cluster which is three half double crochet, half made, keeping all loops on hook and then pulling through all seven. So I'll demonstrate one more time. Yarn over in the next chain one space. Yarn over, pull it through. Three loops on hook. Yarn over, insert in that same chain one space. Yarn over, pull it through. Five loops on hook. Yarn over, insert it in that same chain one space. Yarn over, pull it through seven loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all seven loops on hook, and chain four. Go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round three and that's what it should look like. Now to join, I come all the way over here and if you look you'll see there's a little space right here with a little hole on the left side of your cluster stitch. That is where I join and that is where I work my stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch that together. I'm going to fasten off and then we're going to start round four. So we're going to start round four. Again, I insert my hook in that little loop on the left side of the cluster stitch. I'm just going to pull my new yarn through and I'm going to work right over top the extra edge. I'm going to start with a slip stitch when you bring that through and we're going to work a single crochet in the top of that cluster stitch. And then I just pull that a little to tighten that up. Now we're going to work four double crochet. You're going to take your hook and you're going to bring that double crochet two rounds below between the two green V stitches. So come right between your two rose buds and come down to that center point right there and work four double crochet. And then you're going to repeat that process around. You're going to come over and you're going to find that little spot on the left side of your cluster. Insert your hook in that hole and work your single crochet. And then work your four double crochet two rounds below between the current V stitch on the rosebud you, work, you just worked and the next one. So go ahead and work your four double crochet. And then just repeat the pattern. Single crochet in the top of your next rosebud, four double crochet between two rounds below, and I'll meet up at the end of round four. I'm at the end of round four and that's what it should look like. We're going to go ahead and we're going to slip stitch in our beginning single crochet. Now we're on our last and final round of the front of our scrubber. We're going to chain one 
and this is an easy round. You're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. And when you get back to the front, you will join with a slip stitch in the beginning single crochet. So go ahead and work around and I'll meet you at the end. So we're finished with our front of our dish scrubby. So now we're going to start the back and because of videotaping purposes, I'm going to show you the back with the washi yarn by Premier Yarns. This real fuzzy stuff is impossible to videotape so you can see the stitches. So you do have your choice of even or of using either the washi yarn or to go ahead and use the cotton yarn by Premier. So I'm choosing to use the Premier cotton for the video so you can see the stitches better. So go ahead and get your yarn on your hook and round one of the scrubby back is the same as round one of the front so you're going to chain four. You're going to slip stitch in that first ring to form a ring. You're going to chain three and then you're going to work 15 double crochet in your ring and you're going to slip stitch in the top of that beginning chain three. So go ahead and get your first round completed and we'll meet up at the end of round one. I'm at the end of round one. So round two we are going to chain two. That will be your first half double crochet. You're going to work one more half double crochet in that same joining stitch as your chain two. You will work one half double crochet in the next stitch. You will work two half double crochet in the next stitch. And that will be your repeat pattern around. Repeat pattern around. You will work one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochet in the next stitch, and repeat one in the next stitch, two in the next. I'm at the end of round two. I'm joining in the top of my chain two space, and you should have a total of 24 half double crochet, and that's counting your chain two space. So to begin round three, we're going to chain two. That's our first beginning half double crochet. You're going to work another half double crochet in that same beginning chain two space. Then the repeat pattern, you will half double crochet in each of the next two half double crochet. You'll work two half double crochet in the next half double crochet. And then you will work one half double crochet in each of the next two. And that will be your repeat pattern. So go ahead and work around. I'm at the end of round three. And you should have a total of 32 half double crochet counting your beginning chain two. So I'm going to go ahead and join with the slip stitch in the top of that beginning chain two. Now for round four, we will be working in double crochet. So you're going to chain three for that first double crochet. You're going to work one more double crochet in that same beginning stitch. Now you will be working one double crochet in each of the next three half double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, and three. So your repeat pattern will be two double crochet in the next half double crochet. And then you will work one double crochet in each of the next three half double crochet. So go ahead and repeat that pattern around and we'll meet up at the end to join. I'm at the end of round four. I'm going to go ahead and join in the top of my beginning chain three. I'm going to slip stitch 
I'm going to chain one to begin round five. Round five is a simple round as well. You're just going to work a single crochet in each double crochet stitch around. So go ahead and work your single crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm at the end of round five and you can see that's what it should look like when you're using the cotton yarn. But because I did call it a double-sided scrubby, this is the actual yarn that has the scrubby, the stifferness to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to join. Now you do have the option if you want the softer side on both sides go ahead and use the cotton. So we're going to take our front and you're going to have it right side facing. You're going to take your scrubby part, you're going to take the right side and turn it away from you, the wrong side facing of your back. You're going to place the wrong sides together. Now this might be a little larger than your front because sometimes I get a little looser. I, I do crochet tight and then I loosen up, but that doesn't matter. Now we're going to use the cotton yarn for the edging. Use that, the scrubby for the back, but always use the cotton for your edging. Insert your hook through any single crochet and it doesn't matter. You do the same. You're just matching up your single crochet stitches. You will have 40 single crochet stitches on your front and 40 on the back. So you're just going to match them up. And you can see it like, like wow, that looks big, but that it'll, it'll conform to shape. Take your yarn, pull your new color through, and I just work over my ends. I try to get it up in there like that. You're going to do a chain one. You're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and you're going to take your hook and go right into the same stitch in the back that matches up and insert your hook in that stitch back in the back. You're going to pull that through and do a slip stitch. You're going to chain one. You're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. You're going to pull this out, look for your next stitch, insert it through the back. This is not my most favorite yarn, this Worshi yarn. It's a little hard to work with. You're going to pull that through with the slip stitch. You're going to chain one. Insert into the next single crochet. Pull this out, look for your next stitch, insert. Yarn over, pull it through, and you're going to repeat that process. It's a chain one slip stitch through the next single crochet right through the back matching up the stitches. Yarn over, pull it through. Chain one and continue working around and I will meet up at the end of our edging. I'm at the end of our edging so to join, you're going to insert your hook in the same space as you started and you're just going to pull that through with the slip stitch. And then I just fasten off. And then I'll take a yarn needle and weave that down inside and through my stitches. So this is our double sided rose bud <laughs> stitch scrubby. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And please like, comment, and subscribe.